know Chiggs is in here recording or some shit. No Chiggs moved in here, right? So whatever you oh, say. Sorry, you know Chiggs gonna have, have everything up there. Whatever you say, Chiggs gonna be on YouTube with it, man. But I like you. Come on. What's up, guys? It's your boy Chiggs Smooth. So we are currently coming up on the one year anniversary of the Joe Budden podcast split up. Now, if you guys need a little refresher, you can just check my previous videos. I've pretty much documented both sides of this breakup so you guys can go catch up. But a year later or almost a year later, I can confidently say that most parties have moved on besides mall. It looks like Joe is pretty much done with the situation. He no longer talks about it. Rory kind of feels the same as well. He feels indifferent. As far as Maul, Maul still feels very much angry at Joe, uh, very much angry at the situation. Maul knew Joe Budden for a very long time before the podcast, and he himself feels betrayed with how the whole situation went down. Maul recently went on Smoke Desert's podcast, and he was asked about it. And here's what he said. You, you, you kept, kept it real? I don't respect him at all. You never shake his hand again? Shake his hands? <laughs> I'll shake the room before I shake his hand, bro. Damn. That's just what it is. I mean, you know, because like I said, it was it, it's not even about the business or the money. It's a lot of money. A lot of money. So I, I'm... <laughs> It's a lot of money, bro, mm. that me and Rory walked away from. It's a lot of money that was taken out of our pockets. It's a lot of money that we still, to this day, we don't have no lawyers going after it. Keep it. We got our own back. But with that, with that money that we walked away from, and with that, you know, what was owed to us that we walked away from, that was also me walking away from a relationship and a chapter of my life that once I walk away, you know, that door never opens again because it takes a lot to get me to that point. So once I'm near, I'm, it's over. You know what I mean? Mm. It's over. And it's just like, like I said, it ain't beef. Like it ain't, it ain't beef. Like, because that was really my friend at one point. So yeah, it's not yeah, beef. I don't it. have beef, bro. Right. I, bro, listen, I don't have beef. I don't have beef with nobody. I always say I'm not beefing. Out. It's just a fall. I'm out. not beefing with nobody black. I always say it, bro. I'm not right. doing it. But you know, my number ain't changed. But niggas know they can't hit that line. You see what I'm saying? Like, I'm not changing my number. I got the same numbers for 15 years. Hmm. Certain people just know they can't. They don't have access to me, though. You still got my number, but you don't have access to me. You know it's going to be awkward if you call my phone. You know it's going to be awkward if you text me. Like, so people ain't going to even do it. If you want to go listen to the full thing, I'm going to link you guys below. Go check out the entire podcast. Now, a lot of people, including myself, was wondering, will Joe Budden respond to this? What would Joe possibly say? Now, I could have made this video last week when Maul said this, but I wanted to wait. I wanted to see if Joe was going to respond on the podcast. He didn't respond on Saturday's podcast. He didn't respond on Wednesday, which was yesterday's podcast. So it looks like Joe is not going to respond. However, when this clip dropped last week, Joe did post a couple pictures, a couple memes, if you may, kind of referring or alluding to the situation. He posted this one and then posted this Westbrook one. I think that expression kind of lets you guys know what Joe is feeling. He's kind of feeling like, wait, this is the guy that's talking all this crap about me. This is the guy who supposedly when he sees me, it's on. Again, Joe most likely is not going to address this publicly because I think he wants to be far removed from this situation. But like I told you guys, both parties or all three guys, they can feel how they want to feel. These guys were all friends prior to this whole podcast coming together. And the way the podcast kind of broke up, everybody is entitled to the way they feel. Not sure how long Maul is going to be angry at Joe for. It kind of seems like this is for life. But tell me what you guys think about this man. Tell me what you guys think about what Maul said. And do you guys think Joe should respond verbally? Or do you guys think that the meme is enough of a response? Post your comments below. Subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys later, man.